everyone, it's Jared here, and today I have a very special lesson because this lesson is targeted specifically towards beginner drummers. And this is a topic when I was first starting out that I struggled with the most. My right hand wanted to do everything that my right foot was doing, and there was just like no way I could separate them. And so I worked on a couple exercises back at that time, and since I've refined that to be a few more different exercises, and these are going to help split up your limbs, okay? Um, and I know this is something that pretty much every drummer struggles with. And so, basically what happened uh, with me is, if you took a at exercise one, that was pretty much the exercise that broke me. That's pretty much the exercise that um, I practiced for hours. Um, just because I had this cowbell, and I was playing the, the chord note pattern with the cowbell, and I really thought it would be cool if the bass drum was in between and not always on the count. And so what I had to do is just practice extremely slow. Okay? Extremely slow. And so this is what I pretty much did. So I just practiced that very slow, and not everything was perfectly in time, it wasn't even with a metronome. It was just trying to get my bass drum to be able to play something on its own without having to hit exactly when my right hand was hitting. I literally, I sounded like this. And so it was something I really, really struggled with. And I know drummers nowadays are still struggling with the exact same thing. And so I really hope that these exercises, if you just kind of take them really, really slow, and you're patient with them, and you're patient with yourself, that you're going to start to be able to split up your limbs. All right? And take these one at a time. Okay? So whether you just practice number one, for a month, that's totally fine. Okay? Everyone learns at a different rate. I learned very slowly. Like, number one took me like a week, okay? And I remember I went upstairs and I said did you, to my parents, did you hear what I played? And they're like, yeah, we heard it, it sounded really, really good. They, I'm sure they were just so grateful that the noise finally stopped because it sounded horrible when I was trying to figure it out, especially because I was using a cowbell. Why would they buy me a cowbell when I'm starting out playing drums? That wasn't a very smart decision. Uh, but let's just kind of go through these. Now I'm going to play them really slow for you, okay? Using smart beat technology, I'm going to play these at 60 beats per minute, and then I'm going to bump them all the way up, and I'm going to double it to 120 beats per minute, okay? And so you'll be able to see how it sounds very, very slowly, and you'll be able to hear that note spacing, and then also you'll be able to hear how it sounds much, much faster. Now, I really, really recommend you start slow. Okay, start at 60, start at 50, whatever you need to do. All right, so now I'm gonna play all five of these exercises for you.
So there are five exercises that are gonna help separate your right hand from your right foot, as well as working your left foot in there. Now, one more final tip I wanna give you is to count out loud. So if you look at exercise one, you're gonna see one quarter note on count one, a quarter note on count two, and then the three in the and is where we're playing eighth notes, and then count four is just a quarter note. So the way I would count that is one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Okay, now you can count it like that, or you can actually count the subdivisions if you like. One, and two, and three, and four, and. One, and two, and three, and four, and. Okay, so however you wanna do it, but I just really, really recommend that you count out loud, or at least kind of, you know, Look at the exercise and say, okay, how would I count this? Or how should I try and feel this? And that's gonna help you separate those limbs and hopefully, especially when you're playing it slower, it'll help you actually nail the exercise, which is most important. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. It's been really fun doing a beginner lesson. I know we've kind of gotten crazy with some of our past lessons, teaching linear patterns and other weird stuff. Um, but a lot of the drummers that watch these lessons are beginners and we need to do whatever we can to help them get the best start that they possibly can. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next lesson.